On this video what we're going to do is take information on the main screen and display it in another format and the way that we're going to do that is to use our Excel skills. Now Excel is a really powerful piece of software and it's great for doing analytics and all sorts of stuff and I use it all the time. My head is stuck in an Excel spreadsheet pretty much most of the day and the beauty of integrating Excel and BetAngel is that it allows you to form your own view of the market and to introduce characteristics and features that maybe you want to have a look at that perhaps aren't available in the product or perhaps that you've got your own angle on things and you want to look at things that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our own view of this particular market and I'm not doing this for any particular reason other than demonstration purposes so obviously you know use your own creative skills when you want to do this but this is going to show you how to do that. So you can see on this particular spreadsheet we've got a bet angel spreadsheet and then we've got two blank spreadsheets behind it. Now if you're using a multiple sheet obviously you can have loads and loads and loads of bet angel sheets and you'd have to insert a blank sheet so you'd have to go up to insert and insert another sheet on top but on this one we're just using a single sheet so if I go to sheet 2 I'm going to call sheet 2 I'm going to double click on sheet 2 and call it my spreadsheet and now what I need to do is start populating it and do something interesting so to start with what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the equal sign and then I'm going to go back to the bet angel page and I'm going to say okay we're going to choose the um, cell B9 we're going to say cell B9 and that is the, the name Man City now if I copy and paste down here you can see obviously it brings up the blank cells and also the other ones so I've just deleted a couple of the ones below that and I'm going to bring those up and put it into a nice neat order so now I'm going to do the same with the odds so I'm going to do equals and we're going to look at the back odds there for Man City then I do equals and then equal the draw so we now have the odds available in, in a nice little format for us. We don't have all of this other stuff all around here getting us horribly confused. We can actually look at a nice neat piece of uh, data here. So I'm interested, I'm doing some analysis let's say here on on the match itself and I'm interested in what is the chance of any one of these teams winning the match. And I can enter a formula which goes equals 1 divided by 3.35 and this is telling me that the market thinks that Manchester City have a 29.85% chance of winning the match. So if I just grab the edge of this and bring it down you can see those are the odds. So the chance of a Man City win or a draw according to the market are around 30% and Man United have got a 41% chance of winning this match. So you can manipulate data once you've transposed it onto another sheet and do all sorts of weird and wonderful things however you wish. But you can also um, be a bit more imaginative than that. So if I mark all of those areas there and go to insert, your version of Excel may vary according to, you know, so I'm giving you an example here, but your version of Excel may be slightly different in the way that it manifests itself. And I'm going to click on a pie chart here and I'll, let's, let's do a 3D pie chart, an exploded 3D pie chart. There you go. So all of a sudden here, we now have a graphical representation of the chance of Man City, Man United or the draw occurring. And the wonderful thing about this is because it's linked to a live market, if these odds change, the pie chart will change. So you'll see the pie chart updating dynamically. You know, all sorts of fun and games. Um, we can change the way that the, the layout is done here. And you can see here, there's a, a variety of different ways that we can look at this. So, chance of a win or draw. And if I did this on a, on a busy market such as horse racing, then what you would actually see is the odds shifting around all over the place. So, this allows you to take data from one market and then redisplay it in another manner. And if we move this data um, wherever we want, then necessarily the information that sits behind it in the chart changes but there's no reason why you can't reinterpret or manipulate the data sort of as you see fit 
and you can do other things like if we add up all of those values it should come to around 100% and there you go it comes to 100.93 and if you wanted to um, say add in a countdown timer then you can pull that information across and you can sort of say time left to start and in this case it's a couple of days or so um, but there's no limits to how you can manipulate or reinterpret data from any of this so if we wanted to create our own uh, view of the market we can actually do things like um, money on man united and all I'm going to do is do equals that plus that plus that plus that plus that plus that so you can see here that there's 1,500 and odd pound on Man United we can do the same for City And we can do the same for the drawer as well. Just going to reformat those numbers there. So transposing data is um, quite an easy thing to do. And then we could say, okay, the total amount of money outstanding in the market at this moment in time, waiting to be matched, 17,684. So how much of that is on Man United? D11, I'm basically saying equals D11, which is money in Man United, divided by D14. So 8% of all unmatched money is on Man United. If I put dollar signs in, in front of D and in front of 14, that will fix the cell reference if I copy it. So if I do that and then pull that down, you can see there that this tells you that 80% of the money is sitting waiting to get matched on the draw, 10% on Man City, and eight, can, can you see it just change there briefly and that's because a bet has been matched somewhere so all of this is dynamic difficult to show you at the moment because there's not a great deal of activity in the market but all of it is dynamic um, so that's interesting isn't it you know 29 percent of the odds are on the draw but 81 percent of the unmatched money is there and there's slightly less money on Man United despite the fact that they're taking up most of the market so you can custom create your own view in the market um, it's possible as well to do a whole load of other things like create buttons and so on uh, but that'll be shown in a separate video um, all I wanted to show you here was the ability to take information from the core part of the spreadsheet and display it somewhere else for your own use and in this <coughs> excuse me and in the same way <coughs> that I choked to death in the same way that we displayed the pie chart um, for the odds we could actually display a pie chart uh, for the money as well so you can see here you can get a graphical representation of that as well and you know if we wanted to be a bit snazzy let's shrink that a bit pull that and shrink that down make a nice little presentation of it maybe assign some values to it as well maybe we don't need the chart title on that case so um, it gives you plenty of scope to analyze things and the, and the way that I use the spreadsheet is I have spreadsheets set up that analyze sometimes not just one market but entire markets and I can fire up BetAngel, put those markets into Guardian, suck them into the spreadsheet or BetAngel sucks them into the spreadsheet, connect it and then all of this information is available for me at a flash and this is why you know, I'll be saying to people, well, this race is going to work well, that one isn't, this is going to be happening here, I like the look of that, I don't like the look of this, and it's because I've got data um, coming through on spreadsheets, and it's all set up nice and neat, and I just press a button, and it's all presented um, in front of me. So, bear in mind that you're not limited to the information in the display that you've got here. Set up your own spreadsheet, reinterpreting the data how you wish, and because all of the references on here are fixed, you can pull the information across and display it in a nice neat um, format uh, suitable for whatever you wish to use. So uh, that is a quick overview of how to transpose data from the main sheet onto your own working spreadsheet.